Hi and welcome to the United Computers YouTube channel. This video will explain and demonstrate the use of Microsoft Word tab markers and in the latter part of the upload how to include leader dots on your headings. Here's an example of the end result that we're going to work towards. Notice that the leader dots appear and also that here on the ruler there's a little tab marker which matches the tab marker over here on the far left of the ruler. So the first thing that we need to do so that we can achieve our uh, end result is to see the ruler on Microsoft Word. If you don't see the ruler here then you can click on view and then put a tick in ruler and the ruler will appear. When I look at the far left of the ruler I see the tab marker here and what I can now do is to use that tab marker <coughs> pardon me which by default is the left tab by default so all I need to do is to decide where I want the tab marker to be placed. So on the ruler just under a chosen number I'll click under the 10 which puts the left tab marker at that tab stop. So now what I can do is to type for example a name, we'll say Bill and when I press the tab key I'm taken to that particular tab stop and we'll say Bill is 32. If I want to uh, place another entry, Mary, I'll press the enter key and I'll say Mary tab this will say 25. Press the enter key again and we'll place one more for luck Tom tab and we'll say Tom is 43 and press the enter key. Now what I can do let's say I wanted to use in this paragraph the right tab marker so I simply click through until I come to the right tab marker and we'll place this at number five. Now we'll say Harry and press the tab key and Harry is 34. See how it works? Press the enter key again, creates a new paragraph. And I can keep using those tab stops for any entries that I might have. So we'll say the next one is Sue and I want Sue to be over on the left tab. So if I press the tab key once, it takes me there, but I want to go further across. So I press the tab key again and Mary is 21. Uh, Sue is 21, I'm sorry. And press the enter key. That is how the tabs work. It's really quite simple. You look at the far left and cycle through by clicking on the tab marker until you come to the one that you would like. An extremely useful tab marker is the decimal tab and when I scroll through and see this tab here with the little decimal dot above it then it works like this. We'll say that the fruit are apples and the price per kg when I tab we'll say is uh, 2.45. Press enter and the next fruit are oranges. Tab and the price we'll say is 12.45. Three, five. Press enter and notice that the decimal points all line up because if I click on this tab marker here see how the tab marker goes through the actual price itself and it uses the decimal as the centerpiece. That's why it's a center tab with a decimal. 
So having set our tabs, we can now look at how to insert leader dots. The key to leader dots are selecting the paragraphs in which you want the leader dots. And we'll say we want our dots in these three paragraphs. Having selected the paragraphs, in the Home tab, click in the bottom right hand corner of the Paragraph group. Then right down the bottom left hand corner, you'll see Tabs. Click on Tabs, then put in the leader area whichever design you want. I'm going to select two, which is the leader dots, and then I need to click Set. When I click on set and then click OK, there are my leader dots. It's as simple as that. It's purely a matter of remembering the actual procedure. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We love likes and any comments that you might care to make. So we'll see you next time. Bye for now.